Welcome to Best Week Ever. I'm Destiny. And I'm Destiny. And we're here to talk to you about some of the current events that have been happening in this past um, couple of weeks. So first we have this George Zimmerman case, yes, right? No. So this uh, fellow right here, you know, he fought, he fired a shot at Zimmerman and the judge sentenced him to 20 years for attempted murder. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that, Deb? I really feel like you can't attempt to kill someone like you cannot try to just shoot someone and expect no repercussions just because of that person's past had he done that to anyone else he would have also gotten 20 years in prison because you can't try to shoot someone you can't but do it has caused a lot of controversy because we all know about george zimmerman and trayvon martin and he was not convicted so some people feel like it was kind of you know just in a way it was kind of like I don't know how to say it, maybe payback or mm -hmm. something. And I know, you know, not an eye for an eye, but a lot of people are really upset by this because this man shot and killed an unarmed teenager, black teenager, which is a big problem in the country right now. And then this man, which I don't think race really played a factor since he's white, but he attempted to, you know, shoot this man and he got sentenced. So yeah. But they had two very conflicting stories. Like, this man claimed that George Zimmerman threatened his life. He said, mm -hmm. like, I'm going to kill you, all this. But it doesn't make sense that he would drive up beside him and try to shoot him if someone said, you know, I'm going to kill you, but, like, I'm just going to drive beside you, though, you know? So That's it was weird. True. And George Zimmerman basically said the man was going crazy behind him, tried to shoot him. And it's probably passion behind it, you know? Like, because, you know, George Zimmerman did a horrible thing, you know? So mm -hmm. it's probably a lot of passion behind it, and I feel it. I feel it, but you can't try to kill someone, you know? I agree. I do agree. So, you know, that wasn't the best, best news. <laughs> so let's move on to something a little bit more positive. How about the floated? Yes. Oh, she she slays my life. No, of like, of course. Really. She's only in office for, like, 20-something more days. Like, she's only first lady that much longer. Like, can you believe it? No. Like, it really hurts my feelings. She's such a role model. Have you seen yes. her shoot? What was it? Was it New York oh, Times? New York Times. New York Times. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Let me tell you. I was <laughs> like, oh, my God, Michelle. Yes. Girl, so that. she had a speech like mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about that well her speech was basically on behalf of Hillary Clinton she was on her trail and it was about how she felt about Donald Trump and his derogatory comments towards women mm -hmm. over the past 30 years so what, what people were saying was she never said that words had an impact or you know words had victims she basically painted a picture of how she felt and how like women all over the country felt about him saying those things about someone like that wanting to be our president who doesn't respect us at all you know yeah i agree and you know what that saying that she has is kind of her trademark like when they go low we go yes high. every time she says it i'm just yes. like go with show yes girl because we're trying to go high too That's definitely right. we definitely are and i mean i just think she's such a role model and I don't know, how do you feel about her and Obama really going for Hillary? I really feel like it's loyalty, like it's very okay. loyal because Hillary went against Obama, you know, and was no hard feelings, like it's loyalty, it's just like perseverance, it's all of that, you know, they're good people, mm -hmm. the Obamas, they yeah. are. So I'm, I yeah. definitely love to spread some positive light with the election going on because it's a lot of negative things going mm -hmm. on, but yes, Michelle is the bomb.com. So, girl, let's talk about Birth of a Nation. Have you seen it? Just it? came out. Yes, I did, girl. Okay, it was girl, me too, yeah. moving. Like, moving. Yes, I will say that there has been a lot of controversy, and for one, mm -hmm. this whole controversy over this rape of, of Nate Parker, mm -hmm. like the, his past with that, I just think that, one, Nate Parker has been in many other films, mm -hmm. many other roles, and this has Very never many. come out. Never came up. He was in Red Tail. Tail. That was the historical thing about black people. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Yes. He was in like so many other things. Like yes, a lot of great people, debaters. Great debaters, right. Mm -hmm. So he's done impactful work. But when he tries to take it upon himself to really do something for the community, really tell the story of Matt Turner, make then to make a statement, mm -hmm. then we see all this just commotion oh, yeah over yes. something from his past and it really sucks because gabrielle union played a major role in it and you know in her past she's been raped and stuff mm -hmm. like that so she really like didn't know where to stand she didn't know whether to stand with him you know her race like as a woman like do you stand with the woman who felt like she was raped like what do you do and i heard that the movie didn't make a lot of money in mm -hmm. the initial box office, box opening 
Yeah. I think it was like three thousand dollars short of what if it what if it was supposed to make. So yeah. I think that people, you know, that goal was accomplished. People mm -hmm. stopped coming to that movie. But also something that made me a little nervous about it. I'm not gonna tell you guys the movie just in case you haven't seen mm -hmm. it yet. But um, I read an article that was posted all over Facebook. Basically, it was a female journalist, and she was saying how this movie is factually inaccurate. Really? Yes. A lot of the different things in it are not accurate, and I don't want to give it away some of the things that happened there, but just know that um, back in history, basically the story of Nat Turner is almost like a... I don't know, something that's kind of passed down. There's not really a lot of evidence. I mean, you know, back in those days, you kind of knew what happened and they, they don't really have records of like all the different revolts or the leaders, but that's why Nate Parker felt the need to make this movie so people knew the story. But she was just kind of saying that like, a lot of the different things that happened in there really never even happened. And there was no evidence that that had even happened, which wouldn't be that big of a deal, but it says based on a true story. Yeah. So, Definitely. so it's like, how do we know? How do we know? Sure. But they make the movie in 27 days. The entire movie in 27 days. What? Yeah. So like, that's an accomplishment in and of itself. So I agree. I mean, I thought it was a very powerful and you know moving um, movie, just like I'm sure you did. Mm -hmm. You know, I, we really want you guys to go see it. Go you know, see it. even if you don't want to support him, even if you're still you know worried, don't let they win. Don't let go see it for win. yourself and you know decipher your own feelings about I it. Agree. And here we are with the new cover boy on Cover Girl. Des, how do you feel, girl? Like I'm so here for it. Like yes. I just first of all, can I have those brows? The like brows. Okay, this contour. Like But you know what? This just speaks to a lot of what social media can do. Because yeah. this guy before, you know, a lot of people think just to get a cover girl, you have to be on America's Next Top Model mm -hmm. or you have to already be famous. And that is how a lot of people get that, but mm -hmm. But that's not he, the case. That's not the case. Yeah, he actually like started from the bottom. Now he's here. Like yeah. he um, does makeup tutorials and things like that on YouTube, on Facebook, like on a lot of different social media. So people knew him kind of. I didn't really know him, but after I seen this, of course, I went to look him up and you know, see. Yeah. And he's really good. And I just think that the I'm power of social good. media, right? <laughs> the power of social media is so crazy for it to land someone. Mm -hmm. To be a cover, a cover girl, girl or cover boy yes. in the very first one. Like, okay. what does that say about the industry? Well, I read an article that's basically saying that they're cashing out on like our generation and the generation behind us. Like, mm -hmm. these kids are like in middle school, high school now. Right. Like, we are much more accepting of the LGBT community. Like, we want to see them. Like, they're a part of us. Like, mm -hmm. you know, we're a family. And they're really cashing out on it. Like, he's not going to be the last cover boy. Like, they're going to make a lot of money by using like transgender, gay, lesbian, all of that. They're going to make a lot of money by incorporating that into like their everyday things because we don't want it, you know? Right. And this generation and the next generation, we understand that better than like our parents' generation. Right. Did, so. And I really think we should. I mean, I was even shocked when America's Next Time Model had a guy feature. It was like mm -hmm. men and women, and I was just blown away like with the yes. excitement though because you know there's a lot of negative connotations that come with that mm -hmm. but it was really i watched it it was really interesting how they played them both like you're competing against women and men but yeah. like you know yeah but so in the modeling was, world like it could really be like that yeah you know jayden smith he's making like a mm -hmm. heteronormal like clothing yeah. line boys and girls are and i think that's so cool. so yeah it's becoming a really big thing and i'm so here for it right so, you know, hopefully we're making great strides for, you know, exception and inclusion. And, yeah, I mean, I, I need some positivity in my life. So, yes. yes. Cover boy. Cover boy. boy. <laughs> and we hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Best Week Ever. Catch us next week. We're going to bring you some more, in, you know, insightful, enlightening um, just, happenings. Yes, happenings, <laughs> great things going on because we all need a little happy. Thank you.